Okay, so after we added these two paste lines to our corridor, we need to start adding the rest of the components. As we agreed, these two feature lines, they represent an alignment and a profile. The only component is missing currently is the cross section for these two feature lines. So let's add two cross sections here. As we agree, the suitable cross section for that is the curve return right hand side cross section. So to do that, we just select the corridor and we go to the corridor properties. These are the two new feature lines that we just added. We need to add new cross sections to those. To do that, right click, add region. We'll ask them what cross section do you need to add for that. We agreed on the curve return right hand side. Choose that. And again, add region for the second feature line. Curve return right hand side and OK. Now, you will notice there is lots of errors will come up as we press OK simply because we're creating or we're adding simply because we are adding new components to the corridor and these components they kind of laying over the current components so they they're not working together they just sitting on top of each other which is not the right way so 3d will notice this is an error so we'll ignore these errors for a while until we get to fix all these parameters on dice one of the main things that you can do before you start before you press ok from this menu here just change the frequency on these new corridors that we're creating let's choose a frequency of one meter to give us better accuracy on the new corridors that we're creating Okay, do the same for the other one. You notice we've got four settings. It's better to change them all without worrying about what is what. We need it's a very small region. It's better to change them all to one meter will make it easier without going through them all differently. So the minute I'll press OK, we'll notice some will ask us to first of all rebuild the corridor we'll choose yes and that will give us some errors as we agreed we will not worry too much about these errors i've got all these errors all what we'll do at this stage just clear all events by clicking on action will give me the option to clear all the events the reason i did that so i can see the new errors when they come up to know as we fix them they should get less and less until we don't have any errors so I just cleared all of those I'll keep the menu open here on the side now these are the new corridors that we just created what we need to fix on these corridors now we need to fix the targets of these regions that we just created here so this region should be in theory targeting this line here which is the left hand side of alignment one or the left hand the edge of the left lane of alignment one from this side here should be targeting this line here which is alignment two so if we create that i'll just draw a quick polyline here in a different color i'll choose the dark blue color simply what we're trying to do to create this alignment uh, sorry this corridor to be limited to that point there and then going back to that point there. That's the area we're trying to just draw a quick sketch here just to show you what we're trying to achieve. This is the area we're trying to limit our corridor to. That means has to the, the new corridor has to get rid of all of this area here and target that line on this side from this side here has to target this line here which is alignment 2 so I'll just delete that polyline to fix our target just press on the corridor and we go edit targets we'll ask me for what region do you want to edit the targets I'll choose this region here the top north east region the targets we need to fix are the daylight targets the lane target in alignment or the width and the lane target in height which is the elevation these are the main three 
targets we have to fix. We don't care about the urban sidewalk targets. We will leave those as they are. So we go to the daylight. The target for that should be the existing ground. And the width target for the lane should be alignment one, the left hand side. I'll add that. And alignment two. I'll add that. Okay. So in case you couldn't tell which alignment you need to target, what you could do, if I go back here, I'll delete the two entries that we just added. What you could have done, just going here, trying to choose between all these alignments, because when we start designing intersections, you might get to a point where you have too many alignments here. What you can do is just go to this button here to choose on the screen the lines that you need to target. So we agreed we need to target this line and we need to target this line here. If I right click or enter, that's what will select for us. Alignment one left side and alignment two. I'll choose to add, go OK, and we'll do the same for elevation. From the elevation, we have to choose, first of all, what alignment, and then from that alignment will give us what profiles are available there to choose from. So we need to, as we discussed, we need to choose alignment one, left side or left edge. There's one profile there. I'll choose that. And then I need to choose alignment two. There's two profiles there. We've got the existing ground surface and we've got the proposed profile. I'll choose the proposed profile to be my target. I'll go OK. Press OK. And we'll go OK here again. So that fixed our region here partly we still have an area here that has to be fixed further that's fine and if I go to and if I go to fix the second uh, region here what we can do just if I select the corridor I can just choose match parameters I'll, it will ask me here, select the source region. So it's asking what's the source of the parameters you need to match. I'll choose this region here. Now it's asking select the destination region. That means which, which region you want to fix the parameters to match the source region. I'll choose that one there and press OK. As you can see, that applied the same parameters now for this region comparing to that. So now, as you can see, we still have a minor gap here that we need to fix. To fix that gap, what we can do, simply just adding a extra section here for the road, just to go to that corner to fix that. And to do that, we can just add a section. We'll ask me what region do you want to add this section in? I'll choose this region. We'll ask me where do you want to add this section or along this region? I'll choose that point there. As you can see, I can't snap to that point. As we agreed, turn off the snap again, even if it's turned on again by itself. Turn it off and shift right click, choose intersection, and that will allow you to intersect to that point there. So this is the new section that we're just adding to be added. We just selected to be added. Press enter, we'll add that. I'll go again, add section, will ask me what region. I'll choose this region this time and I'll go to the corner, shift right click, intersection, and I'll snap to that point there. Enter, that will add the new section for us. As you can see, now all the pre all the targets are fixed and the cross section in theory, sorry, the intersection in theory has been built. All what we need to do at this stage, just to stretch the um, cross-section uh, profiles to be in line together. For example, I've got this area here, the two corridors, they're not in line together. From the marker here, you can tell this marker will allow me to stretch the corridor in both direction. This marker here will allow me just to stretch the corridor in the left-hand side direction. So to be able to line these two together, we can just simply stretch this one back. So I need to stretch it to be in line with this marker here. What we can do, just stretch 
to the left hand side shift right click choose the end point and just select that point there as you can see it's drawing a dashed line here you'll see it in a second that dashed line is simply saying that it will stretch the corridor to be in line with this point here choose OK just click on it so I've got now the two corridors in line with each other at this side here for this side there I'll just stretch back the corridor to the end of the curve I'll keep the main corridor in a second going there so I'll just shift right click and in point I'll choose the point where the curve and the straight line will meet together which is about here that's where the two lines met together and I'll do the same for that side there now I'll stretch the existing corridor to be in line with the new corridors we just created in point and I'll go choose the point that we finished our corridor from and I'll do the same thing here shift right click choose one of them and the same on this side here in point so looking at the new corridor now that new corridor doesn't line up with the existing corridors that we just created you can see the daylight here offset it with a large distance from the existing corridor the first thing I'll check first of all if the two corridors has been updated to make sure that it's all up to date I'll go back here to the corridors I'll rebuild all the corridors and I'll make rebuild automatic corridor 2 the same rebuild automatic okay so that's not the solution then we need to see where the problem is let's double check the information we have on the two corridors so let's go back to corridor properties from here this will be the full menu for all the information on our corridor I just selected corridor 1 which is containing the intersection let's check what's the parameters we have there so we've got here the alignment these two new corridors based on the alignment northeast and southeast for the intersection that's right now the profiles for those are based on the intersection profiles that's right and the assemblies the curve return right hand side that's all good so let's go back and check our targets for these regions so I edit targets we have these two regions are matching the existing site and we've got the alignment and the profile as we agreed alignment one lift lane alignment two and the same thing for profile alignment one lift lane alignment two so that's still not the issue let's go back to our profiles and check if there's any issues around that area too so one of the other things that we can one of the first things actually I, I usually check I look at the new corridor with the intersection that we just created in 3d view not with the object viewer just on the screen from a 3d view so if I select that corridor and I'll select the other corridor with it click here just to view it in a 3d view perspective I'll just zoom in to see where the issue is I'm looking now at the two corridors around the lanes they match okay just to zoom into the issue so this is the corridor from uh, this is the cross sections from corridor 2 and this is the new intersection that we just created okay so I can tell here looking at these cross sections here for alignment 2 or corridor 2 the slope on the line on the lanes we added it by mistake to be three percent rather than negative three it's falling towards the crown should be falling away from the crown whereas the new intersection we already created it's falling away from the crown that's creating the difference 
an elevation on the outside between the new corridor we just created that's the daylight and the existing corridors we had before so we can go back and fix that so guys if you have issues on the intersection as you've seen we chose too many um, options while we working on it don't be too concerned just look at it in a 3d view and try to analyze where the issue is and try to get to the bottom of it and fix it so we just found out that we made a mistake on selecting the uh, slope of the lanes on the existing corridors so what we need to do we'll go back to our intersections as you can see our slope towards the ground should be away from the ground so it should be negative three rather than positive three or select one of the lanes and right click select similar sub assemblies that will select them all all the lanes and I'll choose as you can see here I've got the slope on those is positive three that should be changed to negative three if we do that We'll wait for the software to rebuild all the corridors we just created still working perfect now it's all done if we go back and check our corridors they match perfectly with each other that's the new corridors that we created and these are the two existing corridors we had before so that will summarize the design of intersections. I'll do another video just to show the design of the second intersection.